Good morning and welcome to Wayne's Lock Shop. Make sure we check out Locksmith Reference, the app. Download it on your phone. It'll have lots of tools and things to help you with your job throughout the day. That's Locksmith Reference. Type that into your favorite search on your app store. Here we've got a uh, panic bar and the spring is not retracting or it's not extending the latch as it should. So we've got the diagnosis is a very, very weak spring. We tried everything that we could do to try and realign the panic bar system to see if there was an alignment issue. However, there was not an alignment issue. It was definitely a worn out spring issue. Now, this is a temporary emergency repair until we could get proper parts ordered. So basically what we found out was the spring did not have enough power to actually put the latch back in the current position to where it needed to be to be locked. So we're going to take this all apart and definitely make sure that you do not take this apart unless you know what you're doing and you pay attention and take pictures each step of the way. There's a lot of moving parts and things will come flying out at you as they did on me. As soon as you pull that last portion, those springs and those little plungers that go in there, they take off and fly across the room. And it probably happened three or four times. So I've just got a random bag of springs here, and we're just going to see what works best. I'm trying to see if these springs will work. Um, I don't remember the exact combination of which ones worked, but I think we had a problem with them fitting down inside. So we ended up having to use a spring that would be pretty much concealed, and then it would just go down into that bottom portion and kind of stay hidden. We tried to use both springs put together, but that was too much spring tension. So again, this is just a temporary repair with parts that we had on the truck. Always recommend that you put the factory listed springs or the factory part number springs back in or just replace the entire unit altogether. That's really what we got done here is we got this working for them so they could lock up their restaurant and provide security for the evening. That's all we're really doing. And then we put in a bid and submitted a bid to replace the entire panic bar because I really am not a fan of these units. I really like to make sure that we try and get them out of there. And this this trapeze style bar panic bar system we really want to try and get that out of there and get something more modern and get something that will uh, be a little bit more serviceable out there. They, I think they do actually have a rebuild kit for these, but like I said, all the parts are already 20 or 30 years old, so everything in there is that old, so everything is fatigued. The screws have stripped portions on the door, so we really just want to try and get this unit out of there and get it replaced with something a lot more robust, a lot more modern, and a lot more reliable. So here we are, we've got those springs installed, finally. And the door is not working. We're now providing security yeah, man. and a safe exit on this particular panic bar. But we definitely want to emphasize and stress that you mark it on your own voice exactly what you did. These this is a temporary emergency repair to get you by until we can get a much better solution applied to the door. Always make sure you cover yourself when you work on anything like this or try and change anything. It looks like this is a Von Duprin 88 unit. And like I said, the parts are just worn out and the entire unit needs to be replaced. You need to try and get that across to your customer as best and easily as you can. Not trying to sell them something they don't need, but we want to make sure that they are uh, applying the amount of correct safety for all of their customers and clients that are going to be coming in and out of this door. We want flawless operation. For more information, check out Locksmith Reference, the app. Download it on your phone now. Go to Locksmith Reference at your app store and check out waynesloxshop.com for tips, tricks, and all sorts of industry-related items, video-based education, waynesloxshop.com. Thanks for watching.